Hello there, Alder here, and today I'm going to talk about something interesting. So I've actually seen a lot of people uh, leading up to and after uh, Star Wars Episode 7 had released saying, but why would the Stormtrooper be black? Aren't all Stormtroopers clones? And I can understand if you don't pay if you don't pay a lot of attention to the movies, you wouldn't really notice it, but no, Stormtroopers are not clones, not in any way, shape, or form. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, there are clones within the Stormtrooper core, most of them having joined the 501st, and apparently that's actually canon, which is crazy sauce, and I love it. So yes, in all of these photos, you can easily see that there are many Stormtroopers that don't have the same height meaning that they're most likely not clones, or else those clones got a little bit squished in their tubes on accident. And you can see this all throughout Star Wars. The only time that the that the Stormtroopers seem to have all the exact same height is either when they are CG or when they're clones. No other time do they have the exact same height. But what other factors might I have in order to support this, this explanation? Well, there is the one simple fact that Luke Skywalker wanted to join the Imperial Academy. Yes. Now, of course, he didn't want to join the Academy so that he could become an Imperial. He wanted to join the Academy for the exact same reason that Biggs joined the Academy. Traitorous Biggs. He wanted to go to the Academy. He wanted to learn what he could from the Imperials. And then he wanted to jump ship and join the terrorists known as the Rebellion. But with that really quick, simple explanation, I think you're, you'll be able to see that not all Stormtroopers are clones. Many of the Stormtroopers are clones, but not all of them are clones. Actually, rather hilariously, one way to see that they are not the same height is to look at their crotch pieces and how much space is in between the crotch guard and the thigh armor. And you'll see in many of these, it seems to vary a little bit, if not quite a bit. Another way to see is how far the helmet rests from the shoulders. And you can tell that it is different in not every single photo, but quite a few of them, designating which ones would, could and would not be clone. I know this has been a very quick episode, but it's something that I really wanted to get out really fast. And basically just throw it, yeah. So I hope you liked this explanation, and if you needed, if you need more information, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will be very willing to put in more effort to get you the information that you need, because it's a passion of mine, and I'll even update this video with the new information. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which coincidentally enough, I'm going to do right now. I figured this episode's so short, it doesn't really count as a full video. So I'm going to do a mini theory and destroy it because it's silly. It's silly. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next episode. And always remember, if you walk into a den of monsters, they may all look the same, but they're not. And that's monstrous of you to think so. Monstrous? Yeah. Monstrous. Thank <laughs> you.